Hello, dear viewers. Commonly, we use plateau pressure or the low tidal volume ventilation during management of ventilated ARDS patient in the intensive care unit. But less we use about driving pressure. The use of driving pressure as a variable while ventilating ARDS patient are based on sound physiological principle. In this video, I am going to discuss about driving pressure in brief. Driving pressure. Driving pressure is the ratio of tidal volume to static respiratory compliance and it can be calculated at the bedside by subtracting the value of P from the plateau pressure. The utility of driving pressure while ventilating ARDS patient yet to be subjected to high quality randomized control trial confirming its clinical utility and safety. The rational behind clinical utility of driving pressure lies in the concept of baby lung means varying proportion of the lung is not available for ventilation in ARDS patient. And according to ARDS NET protocol, target tidal volume is based on predicted body weight. And this decrease in the available lung for ventilation manifests as a decrease in the respiratory system compliance. For example, if two lungs are of same size but the first lung has lower respiratory compliance, then the delivered tidal volume calculated according to predicted body weight will cause more mechanical stress in the first lung than the more compliant second lung. So the impact of tidal ventilation or lung injury could be better predicted if tidal volume is normalized to respiratory system compliance than to the predicted body weight. Thus, normalizing the tidal volume to respiratory system compliance and using this ratio as an index to functional size of the lung may provide a better predictor of outcome in patients with the ARDS than tidal volume alone and this ratio is termed as a driving pressure. Here you can see pressure time graph and here you can see the difference between the plateau pressure and the PEEP is the driving pressure. The current estimate for safe driving pressure range from 14 to 18 centimeter of water. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to it. See you in my next video on ventilating ARDS patient. Till then, thanks and bye.